All right, if you're into car shows or doing SEMA or making any kind of accessories for cars, trucks, anything like that, or you're hauling your car around to shows, this is what you need. You'll be the cock of the walk and you'll be the show of the show with this because everybody wants to talk to you about it and look about it. It ain't much bigger than a, a Dodge 3500 or a Ford F350. It's a miniature Peterbilt. And if you want to see what's in it for the motor and the interior and see the full walk around, check my channel. It's on YouTube. It's Cereal Marshmallows. It's about 7,000 videos on there. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment, all that, and talk here. But all right, I'm here to do a review of these two trucks. Actually, it's just the one truck. And as you can see, the hood barely is over the bed of the truck, man. It's a miniature Peterbilt. And we got a regular old 2014 Ford Super Duty F350 Lariat King Ranch next to this bad boy. Just to give you kind of a comparison on size and how it is on size. But this truck is for sale. It's cool, it's unique. You're not gonna find nothing about like it. If you don't like talking about your trucks, don't buy this truck because I'll tell you what, everybody wants to talk to you about it. And it ain't much bigger than a stinking F-350. A lot of fun to drive. I'll clip some more in here and we'll do a review of it. Here's another angle on it you might have seen. There's just hardly any difference in size. Pretty cool miniature Peterbilt. One on a car guy, one on a car guy And you're going to want to check my channel because I got about 7,000 videos on here. Subscribe, like, comment, all this. But this here is a very unique minute two hour Peterbilt, a miniature semi truck. And I'm going to throw in a comparison to a regular Ford F350. It's way shorter than that dually over there. But I'm gonna, we got the air horns and everything. So I'm going to go around it, show you a quick walk around. We'll go up close, we'll get any damage, which there ain't nothing to speak of. This thing was ground up, done. I think it had like 5,000 miles on it. My dad picked this thing up in the middle of Kentucky and drove it to, I think it's West Virginia, and then all the way back to San Diego, California. And he's been driving it around. All he's done is put some more money into it and basically adding this, adding that. It's got the backup cameras and everything underneath it. It's just clean as can be. It's all redone. It's a very nice rig. Um, what it's on, I'll go over all that as I go around it. But it's basically a miniature Peterbilt. Nathan, 406-546-8748 if you're interested. It's for sale. And if you want a unique truck, this is it. I'm going to walk around it right here and show you any close-ups and all that kind of stuff. It's got the little girl on it here. The mermaid. Oops. Wasn't fully focused. Nice original grill. Got a few tiny dings and stuff. Sounds awesome, sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. We'll show you the motor and all that here in a second. And you know, the paint is really, really nice. There's a couple chips here and there. Um, it's a great looking truck, but there's things like this in the fender. I don't know if you can see that indention there or stuff. There's a little spider crack there in the fenders. A couple of those. I hope you can see that. They get it on this kind of a thing. Um, checks in the paint here on the hood. Um, it's bright, it's red, it looks good. You really can't notice unless you get up literally a foot from it. Little, see, a couple little things like that. There's probably something strapped to it at one point. Now there's not, so it's got little indentions. A um, couple chips from the windshield that I've just noticed. Now the interior is beautiful, I'll show you all that. Lots of chrome, lots of lights. When the sun goes down, we'll show you the motor and all that, the interior. Um, chrome and stainless and all that kind of stuff just everywhere it's in great shape and honestly we're down here in San Diego beautiful night I'm just happy to not be in the snow in Montana I'm wearing sandals going around the parking lot we can't do that this time of year in Montana the way this stuff all goes back it's all custom the stainless I think it is goes all the way around the back and these pipes are just awesome nice straight pipes um, the bed is the fiberglass work bed type of a thing and I should take some close-up pictures of that later he's got them all locked I'll have to get a key I think they're all locked they're all locked okay well we'll show you those later got the proper duels in the back and such man at a car show you need this you just you just have to have this pull up just not 
take the trophy at the car show, you take a trophy to whatever you pull there. We didn't clean the back out. Rhino lined and stuff. We got stainless up front again. Um, it's clean, but we use it, so got a spare in it and stuff. Um, this little custom piece over your camera to work doesn't get banged. Um, LED, I believe, on the lights. Oh, you gotta take this piece out. That's what it is. I didn't catch that. We'll have to try and show that at another time because I didn't know that. Um, so tire rubber condition is in great condition. Going down the side, it ain't got a lot of dings or nothing. This fiberglass, um, it's in great shape. Um, stainless again up here, a little seal there with a rubber type thing over them where it doesn't leak into them. Um, I think we're ending up with these things open because they're half open because I need to open them. Uh, little lights everywhere. Got a drip rail here. I just had to check. I want to see how hot that was. Um, around the rivets and everything, it looks in good shape. This thing is in great shape. The cab, great shape. A couple dings up there on the back of the cab. So you can see, I'm gonna jump up there real quick to where you can see that. I'm very, I wanna be thorough. What I'm showing and selling. It's very unique. A little ditch in there from the rivets. Lots of chrome. Right here there's a couple dings and such. Uh, these horns are in good shape. They could use a good polishing. It's starting to the pot metal do its thing back here on the back of them though. Um, there's the stainless. They could use a good shining too. But that's what's gonna take all the all the elements, let's say. Let me get out of this thing. It's nice and low, actually. Wow. First time I really climbed in there. Aluminum tank cover, or uh, chrome tank cover. This chrome stainless aluminum all this thing. Got a master disconnect. And we'll pop the hood when it gets a... Kitty cat was walking on that. Jeez. Visor, it's all got the louvers in it. Love the lights up top. Mirrors are in good shape. Is there a ding in that one? No, that's the way it's shaped. There's a ding right there. Ding right here. Um, top of this was probably, I don't know if it was painted or it just needs to shine it. But that's about all you can complain about about it, which ain't much. Um, it's in good shape. You can see a couple of the uh, marks in the hair. I hope you can see that. Right there. Just from the maker's marks or whatever, I'm sure because they're pretty standard right in there. Um, fish eyes and stuff. And a checking on the top surface here. It's the worst thing I've noticed about any of the paint. So that is the exterior. I'll do it again when it's a little bit um, darker. And that's the pretty much the walk around. I'm gonna do a separate one of the interior in the video. Um, excuse me, the interior in the engine. So make sure to catch that one. And this one is for sale. We were going back and forth on the name of it. We're not really putting the name of it out there. You gotta name this thing, right? It's like a ship. You gotta christen it and name it. Christian? Christen. Christen. Christian? I don't know which one. But, cool truck! Well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a second video with the interior and the test drive and the motor and all that. So, that's the deal. Call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. And you can also like, subscribe, comment, like I say, there's about 7,000 videos on my channel. Got to be some other cool classics you like. I do all kinds of weird cars. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got for you here today is a, it's a 1992 Dodge. But it's a 1976 Peterbilt 359 cab. If you're into car shows, if you're into doing things with cars and classics and all that, this is what you need. Whether you're going to show this at the local car show, or you're going to pull what you're going to show, or you're going to enter them both. I'll tell you what, you'll be the guy they're all talking about with this miniature Pete. There'll be a, a, a comparison of it next to this F-350, and it ain't much bigger. It's a miniature. It's awesome. Check out the full video to where you can see the motor and all what's in it and all that. Here's another angle on it you might have seen. There's just hardly any difference in size. Pretty cool miniature Peterbilt. All right, it's that time of the evening when the sun's a little bit lower and I can show you under the hood and stuff like that because of the way it flips without the sun interfering. 
And here's the motor for you. And it is a... Let's see, what kind of motor is this? I don't know. Put it in the comments below. You probably know. Um, nice exhaust going out there. That extra dynamat there underneath that for soundproof and heat and everything. Manifold, exhaust manifold and turbo over here. You can turn that turbo up a little bit too. But missing a top to the overflow there. And this here Caterpillar motor is pretty cool in this truck. You got a big old cat. It's a 32 what? It's a 32 Cummins. It's a 12 valve Cummins. Six cylinder, straight six. These things run forever. Great engines. And this is built on a, the first generation of the diesels on a dually frame that is from that. And it's definitely the most unique thing you're gonna see on the street. So underneath the hood, all nice, it's good. Like I say, my dad drove it about 4,000 miles, 5,000 miles cross country and did just fine on it. Um, not too heavy to get this hood open and closed. It's been finished out on the inside really nicely and all. Um, it is definitely a unique rig. You could do a little bit of cleanup and stuff like this and change a couple, you know, they kind of got a little paint on the power steering thing. If you want to be picky, you could clean this thing up a little bit and really, really make it a nice, nice show type thing. The outside is beautiful. It's an older paint on it, but it's definitely nice, nice rig. So I'll go ahead and show you the interior necks and such. We'll talk to you in a minute. The mermaid likes to be opened up every once in a while too. The cab is a 1976 Peterbilt 359 and it's registered as a 92 Dodge because the frame chassis and such is a 92 Dodge. I wanted to get it this time of day and kind of show you this time of day the difference of the... Man, it's just... You get the sun earlier and later, you get it like this. It's just a whole different look. Not a lot of any kind of dings, dents or anything like that. It's a clean, clean truck. You're definitely going to steal the show in this. And it's as unique as can be, for sure. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Make sure and like, subscribe, comment. It really helps out. I'm going to show you the interior now. And that's the deal. That's what we're going to do. Okay, I got the doors open, and we're going to look at the interior. And it's in great shape. These people had to come sit right here. Just right here. There's a hole that needs to be plugged up. Have something mounted there. Wood flooring, buddy. Nice pedal. It's got a lot of cool additions. The wood dash with the gauge cluster put in all right. You got the pier built tack. Does the tack work? Huh? Does the tack work? Yes. Tack works, but it's kind of dark up here. Pyrometer works too, he says. But all the gauges in here. He's added some purple lights and stuff. Just chrome trim and stuff on lots of different things. They're stainless, whatever it is. Legacy seats. These seats are the bomb. They're both air ride. It's all padded up here. It could use a, you know, a screw here and here. It's just got a couple little things that a guy can do to it to make it just as nice as can be. And it's got the wood grant wheel. Really nice. And I'm going to try and get a picture of that. Got my picture. And really nice. Um, the armrests come down, adjustable and everything, wherever you want them. All that cool stuff. Air ride up and down and all kinds of stuff. Nice fire extinguisher. I'm going to go around the other side and show you inside the other side. Like I say, we didn't clean the back out, but it's in good shape. It's just, it's used every day. My dad drives it around. Um, the window crank hasn't got the little pin on there to keep it on there, but door panels are in great condition. And there's your tag for the legacy seats. These aren't cheap. No! That's all there is to say about it. And no! some kind of switch was through there. It's got the overdrive transmission. And geez, can you believe it? the minute you do a video, here come people screaming in the background. It won the Eddieville car show. And I'll finish this up on the test drive. Okay, I'm going to open the side of the beds for you and pull the master lock. All right, pulled the back master lock and in, in the sides, it's like brand new. It ain't been used for nothing. It's got hangers and stuff in it. Um, very nice bed. And all, all tech. 
There you go. Dad's got some paperwork and stuff in there. But that's about the gist of it. Family pictures and stuff, you know? That's actually a stock picture, dude. I don't know what he's got in there. Extra lights. He's got mirrors that he's putting on. They're going to light up as well. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to lock her back up. This one is open and I'll show you inside. It's got roll out drawers. Oh, they're lockable too. That's cool, man. Pretty cool. Phone holder, huh? And it's like a surprise for me. I don't know what we got. Man, yeah, we were ready to, we're definitely ready to hunt. That dog does hunt. That's all there is to say about it. Roll out drawers everywhere. 22 shells and stuff do not come with it. Things are getting expensive nowadays. So it's a rolling, working filing cabinet. Pretty cool. And All right, here we are for the test drive. Oh man. Nice. Nice. With the smoke stacks. Woo, buddy. So here we go. We're going to do the test drive on it. And it drives really nice. And it's just it's more fun to drive than a new truck because nobody has one. It's got the nice aftermarket radio with a USB hookup to where you can plug your phone and stuff into it. Big old shifter on it. Automatic, right? Yeah, sitting right here. It's got the overdrive. It's got the overdrive. underdrive, overdrive. I think I'd take this off. Yeah. <laughs> but AC works. Oh yeah. Nice and cold. cold. He wouldn't drive it unless it was cold. <laughs> no. Looks nice looking out over that hood. And I'll let you hear this thing shifting right there. It sounds mean going down the road coming at you. When he pulls up, everybody knows he's arriving. That's for sure. And like I've said, if you don't like talking to people at the gas station and explaining your rig, don't buy this. Get yourself a little Kia or something. Because you're going to be talking to people on this. We'll cruise around the block here. We can get it up to 45 on this road. Kind of gets you a feeling. I mean, it rides really smooth, really nice. I mean, you got a, a suspension that's just really nice compared to a 1976 Peterbilt 359. People giving you the thumbs up going down the road and giving you the sign for the, to give them the air horn and everything. I mean, it's definitely the most unique thing at your local car show, that's for sure. That's 40 going down the road. That's 45. So, let me give you an idea of what it does. Here and I got a couple more pictures to take before it gets too dark. And he's got some switches in here that are colored. And a lot of this stuff, um, he's got to hook one more wire up to make the top lights up top work. And that's the deal. And you can turn it around in somebody's driveway. There's a couple bullseyes in it on this one. That glass looks clean. Okay, so on the road again. This thing drives so nice. The air ride seats are super, super nice. Give you a nice ride, that's for sure. And you get enough of that turbo when it gets spooled up to give you a little bit of cool effect, cool feel to it, too. Definitely as cool as any old muscle car or any F-350 here. Something like that you could buy, because it's more unique. Ain't nobody got one, that's for sure. Well, I was trying to get him to put the boots to it, but I guess he's not gonna.
right, so that was the review of the Peterbilt 359 miniature Peterbilt and the interior and the test drive and the engine and all that. Hope you enjoyed. I tossed these both together somehow with the exterior and any stuff like that. So I made actually three videos and it is a nice rig. Nathan 406-546-8748. It is a really nice truck and the most unique thing that you're going to see around at the car show and stuff. And it drives around town. You can park it at Walmart. You can park it anywhere. It is a sweet rig. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Subscribe, like, comment. I really like, I really appreciate it. It helps out. And I'll give you an outro with that picture right about there. Bam.